there are, there are people in the world that you respect, and there are people who maybe look out for their self-interests, and they do things for the right reasons, don't they? You know, I love this world. I love this community. And what's happened and I what the messages and what's going on was supportive and not supportive. You know, I mean it's kind of like the best and worst of this world. All all in one. And the the unfortunate thing is, you know, I I respect Jordan so much. And, you know, he and I have been talking for a while, and we've been talking about this process for a long time. And I think the funny thing is that Jordan's the damn reason I ran. <laughs> he talked me into this before he decided to do it himself. And so here we are. And, um, you know, I've lived here my whole life, and I love this community. And I know Jordan does too, so it's like, it's not a, it's not about, you know, who's better or anything like that. And I've, I've really loved parts of this process. All the people from the community have reached out and, and talked about who we can be. You know, not just who we are, but who we can be. And, um, I think that some people tonight have, have made a mockery of, of counsel. They've made a mockery of what Missoula can be. They've made a mockery of you know this process under guises of, of being led by other people. And it's not just one. There's probably three or four. And I think that's unfortunate. Because um, I think you all deserve better. And um, you know, I don't. I don't think that that. Anybody intended in, in the state law to have you know two guys standing in an alley at 10:30? I guess it's 11. Sorry, that, that recess was a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> you know, trying to figure out what to do. And I'm sorry I'm getting emotional about this, but you know, politics. I, I think Jordan likes to say this: politics is a blood sport, and it, it's terrible. It's a blood sport when, when the people you're you're going against you respect. And so to see us just go round and round and have everybody dug in, um, you know, that's not what Missoula wants. It's not what this community wants. And, you know, I have such respect for the people who have been positive, who have reached out to Jordan and myself and have been supportive about, you know, hey, Jordan, I like my, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm supporting you and here's why, or, or vice versa. And I think that, that that's what we should celebrate, you know? And I think that, that, yeah, this isn't a perfect process, but it's, you know, it's the process that we have. And, you know, this was the opportunity for people who wanted to be married to, to participate and to join. And, you know, in my life, I, I didn't think that I would be asking the community to believe in me nine months into my first term. Like, joining it wasn't supposed to be cancer. This wasn't supposed to happen this way. The reality is that you know, one of us has to step in and be mayor starting tomorrow. And, you know, I think that that's going to be a tough thing to do if we just let this keep going. Um, so I don't know what, what all this looks like on the other side, um, but I want the people who respect with me to know that I'll never forget that. I don't know what comes next. And, um, you know, those of you who were, who were, true to yourselves in this process and have the best interest of Missoula in heart, you're the ones that I want to work with. Those of you who weren't, I think that you should really think about what, what it is that your goals really are or really were tonight. And, uh, you know, I've, on our next round, I'm going to vote for, for Jordan to be mayor, even though I want to be mayor. Because sometimes that's what leaders do. And, you know, I, I don't know what this is the closest I'll ever be to this, Probably because I think the crying counts a little bit. That's probably not a good, uh, probably not a good campaign video. But you know, I don't care because one thing that I think that people who have supported me have said that is true is I try to be genuine. Like you get who you get with me, and I am someone that likes to work with everybody, and I am someone who will sit and listen to every 
everybody. And one of the maybe most frustrating things about this process is the people who try to paint the fact that I've been willing to work with Republicans and Democrats to get things done as a bad thing. Are you kidding me? Like, that's crazy. And if anybody thinks that that's part of the problem in politics, that, that somehow, like, because we disagreed on one issue seven years ago, like, you're a terrible person. Like, we need to be better than that. We need to be able to, to sit at a table and say, Sandy, I don't agree with you, but we're going to be better for it. And I know we're going to be better for it because I've really enjoyed getting to know you in this process. And so there are, there's good from it. And I've been told that you know, Jordan and I are embarrassing everybody right now because we're letting this go. And um, you know, shame on them because we're not. We're, we're a group of 12 people who passionately want what's best for Missoula. And we all may have different opinions, but at the end of the day, we're trying to be public about this process, and we're trying to, to do what we think is right with the rules that we have. And sure, maybe a special election would be better, but that's not the rules that we have. So I would tell you that if there's anybody outside this room who's criticizing what's going on inside this room, you don't know what it's like to walk in our shoes. This was not easy. And you know, I, I think I speak for all of my colleagues when, when I say that, because it's not. We've had so many people reach out. We've had so many people tell us what they think. And everybody puts it as like, this is the end of the world if you don't, you know, if you don't do, what, do, do what I think. And, um, I think it's pretty easy for people to sit on the outside and, and name call and uh, you know imply that somehow this is embarrassing but I don't see it that way. I see um, mostly 12 people who really just struggle to reach an agreement in one night on, on how to proceed. And if we think that's bad in politics, then we're doing it wrong. Because the whole idea is that we talk about things and we work them out and we come to a solution instead of walking into a room and having the votes predetermined. And I just hope moving forward that you know on this council we can continue to build that that relationship across the lines of, of ideologies and you know tenure and all that because I, I think that everybody on this council body has different things to bring. And um, obviously, we're going to change a little bit because if we have Mayor Hess, we're going to have to fill a seat. And God, I hope that's a better process than this one. <laughs> Something tells me it will be, um, partly because nobody on council can apply for the seat. <laughs> um, but I just, I want you all to know, to my council colleagues, that I really do, I appreciate that you considered me. And I appreciate those of you that are, are willing to stand with me. Because the reality is, if I wasn't right now doing this, we would have another three hours of lock votes because everybody wants to lock in. And what does that prove us? Like it, it, it shows us that one of us is getting six and one of us is getting five. Or maybe we get to six and six, and here we go. But sometimes you have to recognize that for the better of the community, we do need to move forward. So, um, so to, to those that voted for me, I really appreciate it. To those that you know, were good in this process, I really appreciate it. To the community who, who reached out, and, and you know, even those who are going to be really mad at me for stepping aside, I want you to know I value your opinions. Um, and I look forward to standing next to, you know, will be Mayor Hess when he gets sworn in, probably tomorrow, I assume. I don't know when that happens. Um, and, and working side by side to, you know, fight for Missoula because we've got we've got big we've got big things coming forward and I think we've got an opportunity to continue to be a leader in the state. And uh, you know I'm willing to recognize that sometimes that somebody has to say, okay, uh, you know, we've got to move on for the better of everybody. And you know, I'm willing to do that. So um, you know, thank you all, sorry for showing you that I'm not just a stoic guy who sits here and you know, pines, but I get emotional sometimes. Um, and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to, to be part of this. And, you know, I, I'll just repeat it that I'm, I'm, I'll be proud to work with Mayor S. And if anybody on the outside wants to, to criticize how this is all gone, you know, that's your problem. 
and you're not you're not rowing for Missoula, you're rowing against Missoula, and you've got to wonder what your intentions really are. And if you want to be part of this process, you could have. So with that, um, Acting Mayor Jones, who I really have appreciated um, all that you've done for us over the last month. I think you were the perfect person at the perfect time. Um, I'm ready to vote.